back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. My name's Jeff, and this is my wife, Sharla, since you haven't seen her in a while. Hi! Ah, you can't... Hello. I'm Just checking here. you out. Oh, thanks. Just checking you out. <laughs> all right, so we're here again. We have a, actually a little surprise for you. We do happen to have all of the family with us. Yay! Which is kind of odd. It's not normal, so... Hey, we'll take it. Nice yep. helpers. So... Anyway, we're gonna go feed the bison their cubes, and that is where we have a little surprise. Hopefully we can go ahead and find them. All right, so we found the ladies. They're over here at the peninsula area with all the trees. The kids are gonna start prepping the cubes, but let's find our surprise. Okay. Way yonder we have a surprise. I don't know if we can see them because they keep moving away. Here. So we're going to feed the buffalo right now. Our goal is to get the mothers. We want to record what babies are born to what mother and in the future we'll try and figure out as they get older which actual baby that was when we tag them, but that's another day. So we're going to go find out. I think we have two, maybe three babies. Is that third? There might be a third. So we're going to feed them cubes and the way we're going to do this is I've got my boys sitting in the back of the truck and they're going to drop cubes a, a little bucket full of cubes out either side every 10 feet and we're going to act like we're a trip hopper and distribute cubes and uh, see how that works. As you can see they're already swarming the truck. You scared me, I thought you were a buffalo. So periodically we're just checking our fences as we're going around. We're, we're finding the babies are actually up there, so we're just trying to find them and fix our fence while we're at it. So I'm going to tell the boys to go get that big log branch off of that tree. This may be fun. Hey, it's a two-man job, and there's two of them, so we appreciate this. We'll have to come back up and pick up some of these logs. But the tree behind it is just dead. So, it's only a matter of time. They oh, keep, they move? Oh. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. They keep running from us. I'm not sure if they're going to let us see them, but there's three babies, I think. I think three. And behind us is the rest of the herd. <laughs> the mothers are pretty protective with the babies this young, and uh, we're going to end up having to chase them around a lot just to get pictures of them. So in the meantime, we're going to keep trying to get some fencing stuff done but we will hopefully get closer to these little babies. Three little ones. All right, so we're here investigating this one spot over the creek where the line doesn't come down far enough. If one of those babies got over here, it could sneak under and get into the neighbor's property. So we're gonna see about running one more strand, maybe securing it down with a T-post. See what we need to do right there.
So we just set the T-post. We're going to put barbed wire around the far wooden post, drop it down onto the T-post and come back up. The water comes, keeps coming through here and they just drink out of this sucker. It forms a pretty deep pool actually right here, right at the fence line, but if a baby ever got down in that water, they could, they could squeeze through. It's not down far enough. Barbed wire. So we're going to wrap it around the top, staple it, go down to the other T-post, come back up and just make a little V. At this red gate, we have about a foot and a half to two feet of clearance underneath it. And because this is where a lot of the water comes down, and it's just a, a dip, a depression in the ground. I'm not going to be using this gate for a little while. Um, this has been to check the property lines. But just since we have the little babies going on right now, we're just going to drag a lot wire across this, maybe put a T-post if we need. We're just going to get this to kind of try and block it so that way they're not going to go underneath the gate on accident. The babies are the main concern, so that's why we're doing that. I know, 139 likes this today. They're all coming. It's so freaky. Hi guys. Hi Ahmed. You come to check us out over here? We're just getting some work done. Keep the babies in. That's all. See, then you gotta get the hammer out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to not get hit by the hammer. Look, there's three. Oh, one, two. Oh, look at the baby! They're so cute! Trapping, we shall go. Yeah. I can't read it until we're right next to them. I think one coming at us is a. Everybody turn away. Don't show your dad. He's so cute. Look at the baby.
I think it's a B. Thank I you. swear if I have a bit on B32. B42. B12. I can see the tag, but B15. not the number. B16, B16, B16. I'm as zoomed as I can get. Okay, so the day when you're in a hurry to put everything in the truck and you leave your tape measure at home. All right, we're pacing out. So we turned it into pacing out our T post to finish up this next section of new fence on the west side of pasture seven. So we're laying out the posts. So that way we can start driving them in. Why, right, right, Grant, why didn't you bring a post with you? I don't know. You guys said you needed me and I didn't know what for, so I started walking. Mm. Either I'm extending a step or you're going shorter. Because my nine and a half All is All right, what, two more? Foot or so in front of you now. All right, and there's our H's. So that's where we're going to stop the line today before we finish up our line next time. Charlotte already told you we're spacing these things out, but uh, once we're done with all this, I think we're going to go over and check and see if we can get those baby mommy numbers. So that way we can keep a catalog of what day or quote week they were born. Ow! So let's see if we can get this done. We're going to start with T-post driving along the fence line, and then we'll go and run the hopefully seven strands of barbed wire today before we leave. You ready? Go! Six feet. Yeah. There guys. The far guys when we're wrapping too. Alright, so we just marked off. Um, our little story pole broke, but we went up five inches, and then we went to twelve inches, so that'd be now a seven inch gap. And then every foot all the way up to six feet, so seventy two inches. And we put it on this post because this is the one that we're going to be anchoring to today. And we're going to be running it this direction across the double H to where they're at over there. We also marked this other post because we're going to be running a big line going the opposite direction, but also we know what height to staple all of our other lines at. So they're marking it over there. And then we're going to start tying off over at that end, bringing it and pulling it this direction, each one. And then they're going to keep doing that side and then I'll pull it taunt on this end and build our way up. The shoes of speed! <laughs> the hell of terror! I don't know if I was gonna do this first one. No, no, I'm just getting just the easier teaching. Where Talmadge was. Uh -huh. Do you want me to loosen this guy up? Mark, bring it down and tuck it underneath the the orange guys.
not gonna make it. You've got enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. You're just gonna you just clip up the rest of it? <laughs> Alright guys, we're got done here at the fence. All of our good helpers, we've got seven strands. So uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it all tied off. The kids got some good T clips going over here so that's over it's about a 240 foot span I think it is um, compare that with the other 300 or so we've got a little bit more so we don't have too much left except all of that which is like 700 feet which is a long ways all right but today we had our little boys itty bitty baby grant little bigness Kika bug and pumpkin and then itty bitty stud right here, Talmadge. At least I'm a stud. Yeah. Okay. Instead of just baby Grant, huh? <laughs> all right, it's good to have them all. All right, we're going to go check out the little babies. And our goal with the babies, since we can't get up to close to the moms so far, is if all else fails, what we're going to do is I have a list of all those that are confirmed pregnant. And we're going to go in amongst the other part, portion of the herd that isn't running away from us, maybe bait them with some cubes and look for each number of the pregnant moms and check them off one by one and whatever's left would be the three that are pregnant. So that's our deductive reasoning tactic today. So we're gonna give that a shot. Let's go check out some buffalo. We have a list, we wrote them all down and that's what these guys are doing. 138 always comes up to our hands. Uh, okay, and then these are, these are options that could be pregnant. So 38, 12, seven. So if we can one. confirm all four of these are present, Right, that's not them. Then we don't need to worry about, okay, it's a it's an unknown one. Because if we see all of these but two, it's got to be one of these guys. Or we miscount it. Yes, whatever's left over. Process mm -hmm. of deduction. All right, Imagine this, that. Is, this is the way it's going to happen today. <laughs> okay, you guys have a bag of cubes. Yeah. So if we can use that to... Lure them to us. Where's the scoop? Oh, yeah, the I scoop. just stepped in Dookie again. Dang it. Good job. <laughs> there, so really, Daddy? Really? Side side How many side times side? you got to do that? It's not stubborn. I feel the yep. heat. Right. Spread that out and kind of help get them. Hopefully it won't come off. But if we can get it back to most of the herd here, we can start checking off some numbers, okay? Okay. 12, 12, Daddy called 33, one. a 99, one. 26, 6, a 1, 33. What's that one that's behind 6? 18? 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Challenge 18. 15. 95, 15. 126. 126. I can't read that. It's inside here. Yeah. That's 12. 139. 139. How many are left? 132, 98, B2, 130, 92, 17, 438. Okay, That's a lot. Sure. That's a lot. The ones for sure. 417. 417. 92, 98. Yeah. There are four females up there. Sandra, zoom in. Me. Thank you, Mark. It's fine. Don't turn your head from me. Yeah, it's 92. Okay, 92 is a confirmed mother. 92. 92? Yep. Okay, so we went around and tried to find all the ones to narrow down, and we got our list down to about four ladies that we don't know. One, two, well, three, but we found one of the moms. So three that we haven't seen, but we only have two more moms to narrow it down to. So we still want to find a few more numbers. So we came around over by the trough and the hay ring area, and so we turned off the truck. These we're all just sitting here. We're gonna wait and see if they come back up the hill. And if they don't, Jeff has to still feed the hay. So that'll give us one more shot to look for a few more numbers. Camera, maybe they've seen something. There goes the 
next set of kids with the second bale of hay. Okay, despite the covert ops of Talmadge and Chica, we were able to get a few close-up pictures. Not sure we can make out much of it. So our deductive reasoning and stealth-like stuff came up with those four. Um, 92 seems to be confirmed, um, but then there's three others. There's like four, 17, and 98 or something like that. Maybe even 38 as well, but she's an unconfirmed pregnancy. So out of those four, three of those had babies. So we have a list now of which ones didn't have one this week. So if we come next week, hopefully we can spot out more and more. Now we could have up to 17 or even 21 babies. It's gonna get really hard to kind of start pinpointing, especially if they're this aloof, you know? So we're gonna keep doing this every week, seeing if we can finally find out what the number is, but uh, it may be more difficult than I'd like, but uh, we'll keep trying. Anyway, thanks for joining us guys. We've got some more fencing done, another 250 feet. Fed the buffalo, checked out some wee babies, and uh, next time we do it all over again. Thanks. With you, I wanna stay with you.